Let's draw the Lewis structure for formaldehyde, which is CH2O. First thing to note is that carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are all non-metals. Carbon and oxygen come from the top right-hand corner of the periodic table. That's where you find the non-metals. And hydrogen, by definition, is a non-metal. It just happens to be written over here. When non-metals combine, they form a molecular compound which is a sharing of electrons. I have a method for drawing the Lewis structure of molecular compounds, so let's get it. Step one, count the total number of valence electrons that your atoms bring. Carbon is here in group 14, so it brings four valence electrons with it. Hydrogen in group one brings one valence electron with it, but there are two of them. So I got to times that by two. And oxygen in group 16 brings six valence electrons with it. Four plus two plus six is 12 electrons total. All right. I'm going to draw my central atom and the surrounding atoms in single bonds to start with between all of them. Well, between carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, carbon is the one that can make the most number of bonds. I've seen it with up to four bonds before. Hydrogen only usually wants one bond and oxygen's usually just two. So I'm gonna put the thing that can bond the most in the center there, and then I'm gonna surround it with uh, an oxygen and the two hydrogens. And like my instructions said, I'm gonna single bond them all to start with. Now, please note, I've already got two, four, six electrons taken care of already. We're gonna add lone pairs to complete the octets of the outer atoms until they're full. Again, I'm not gonna go past 12 electrons total. And I already have two, four, six electrons here. I need to complete the octet on here. So let's do seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's my 12 electrons. I'm not gonna be allowed to draw any more electrons on this than I already have. If you have extra electrons to deal with, which we don't, we'd put them on the central atom, but we don't, so we won't. And then if there's an incomplete octet on the central atom, we'll move lone pairs to form double and triple bonds. Well, that central atom only has two, four, six electrons around it, and it wants to satisfy the octet rule, which means it wants eight electrons total. Where are we gonna get the seventh and eighth electron from. Our only option, because there are no extra electrons to deal with here, is to move them from one of the outer atoms into the bond. Now that pair of electrons, which belonged to oxygen, still belong to oxygen. So this oxygen still has two, four, six, eight electrons around it, but now it's sharing with carbon. So carbon has two, four, six, and now eight electrons around it. That's a completed octet for carbon, and that's the signal that we're done here. Congratulations, you drew it. I verify for you, this is definitely the Lewis structure. Obviously, you would have used an eraser to get rid of those. That's the completed Lewis structure. And uh, congratulations, use this method to draw the Lewis structure for any molecular compound. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.